Hi friends, this is Shiv coming to you from Hamilton, New Zealand. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to grow eggplants. Now, eggplants, growing them in New Zealand is a challenge simply because we are in a temperate region and eggplants come from tropical regions so they need a lot of heat to grow and that's the challenge that you need to overcome. So the best way to do it, and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to grow them here, is is to grow them in containers okay not for the entire lifetime of the plant but for a certain period and so how you do it is around october you put them in 15 to 20 liter containers you can even put them in bigger ones if you have them and let them grow till they're about two feet in height around that much and then you bring them out so by that time it's probably going to be around middle or late november or even early December and once you bring them out let them grow but soon you'll find out that at that period of time it will start putting flowers so when when an eggplant starts putting flowers it's going to need a lot of nutrients okay and that pot the soil in that pot is probably not going to be enough um, so what you do and this is something that I have come up with as a solution I haven't seen it anywhere else but it's a fantastic way of giving the plant the best of both worlds. So what I do is that if you look at the ground here, as well as for that plant, you can see that I have dug probably around one and a half feet in the ground and put in rich organic matter. And I put the pots, I've taken the pots out and I've put them in to on top of those, um, you know, dug out holes with compost in them. So what, what's going to happen is that when it starts flowering and starts putting fruits, it needs a lot of nutrients. So the roots of the plant will go from the bottom of the pot right into that rich organic matter. And what that will do is it will provide nutrients. Plus, if you forget to water them for a day or two, your potted eggplants are not going to die out, right? So there are a couple of benefits of that. And also, throughout the season, it's getting the maximum amount of heat possible because this area where the majority of the roots are is getting the maximum heat from all sides so that way you get the benefits of the container but you also get the crucial benefit of um, giving the roots the maximum nutrients possible by giving it access to the ground underneath now the results will speak for themselves if you look at this eggplant it's got one two three four five six so there are six eggplants currently growing here and if you look at the size of these these are huge like that one is probably over 500 grams that one right there probably a bit more than that and if you look at that plant here look at the number of fruits on this plant it's probably around nine eggplants growing here look at that one that's huge that's ginormous Look at that one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you show us the giant one once again? Nine, ten. Ten eggplants growing here. And have a look at that one. It's huge. So that's how you get the best of both worlds with an eggplant. Now I'm going to show you something else as well. And as you know, eggplants, just like all other plants, are living organisms. Now, last week, I, I saw a lot more flowers. I can still see some flowers here. But I saw, saw a lot more flowers last week. And this week, what I'm seeing is some of those flowers are drying off, even though they have been pollinated. And the reason for that is that the eggplants, they realize, hey, look, I have set the maximum number of fruits. I've done a good job, so I don't need to set any more fruits. So it's, it's just dropping those flowers. And if I let it be, if I let all these eggplants ripen on the plant, the plant is going to die. It's going to kill itself because it knows that, hey, look, my, plant, my fruits are ripe. I've done my job. I have reproduced, so I'm going to die. So what I urgently need to do is to pick all these eggplants. And then you'll see more flowers coming and pollinating and, and, and generating more fruit. So you need to pick those off. And now that's going to be my challenge because we're just two people and finish all this eggplant as you can see it's going to be a challenge but that's a good challenge to have so i'm signing off for today 
So happy gardening and happy growing eggplants. See you guys the next time.